the long-awaited Rico Hines footage dropped, which showcased the Detroit Pistons against a number of All-Stars, including Steph Curry, Pascal Siakam, and Trey Young. It was nice to see the squad in action after all this time. There was a couple of things that stood out to me during these runs, so we'll take a look at those today. Number one has to be Kevin Knox getting buckets. I legit thought this guy was a sign and trade piece, but after that, I gotta put some respect on his name. Knox didn't do anything with the Hawks and Knicks, but in his first run with the Pistons, this was a good impression. I've said this previously, but the rotation this year is going to be tough to sort out. We have so many players who could argue for minutes. Another thing I noticed were the lineup choices. I'm most likely reading too much into this, but still, it should be noted. The first lineup was Killian, Cade, Bay, Knox, and Durin. From the looks of things, the Killa Cade experiment is still ongoing. We will see these two on the floor a lot since they can both play small forward, so it makes sense for them to keep that chemistry going. There's also the possibility of the Pistons not wanting to show off the Cade Ivy backcourt before the season begins. Second lineup was Joseph, Ivy, Diallo, Bagley, and Stewart. As we see here, Kojo is leading the way. When he was on the bench unit last year, that group was outplaying the starters. We see that here again as this lineup had the most success at the Rico runs. Seeing Ivy and Diallo sharing the floor was interesting as both do similar things. What made it work was the outside shooting of Stu. At this point, anyone thinking he will be a liability from three is out of their minds. Everything is pointing to him being a serious threat from downtown. He's also not rolling anymore. Stu was doing strictly pick and pop in this footage. On the flip side, Bagley was the one rolling, so I think Stu in MB3 starting is a good possibility. Next up is Kate versus Curry. How this matchup went was interesting. MC was playing elite defense, but Steph went MVP mode, hitting everything he looked at, which is very telling as Steph only goes off against players he feels are a threat, like LeBron, KD, Westbrook, Chris Paul, and he always suns Trey Young. So I think Cade has a target on his back, which makes sense. This entire offseason, Cade has been seen on TV, in magazines, on social media, even outside of Pistons spaces. With that in mind, it's not just KD who's looking to go at him. Other superstars will be looking to see if Cade is the real deal. That leads us to Jalen Duren, who we've seen guarding Steph Curry and Trey Young. Duren was able to move his feet and stay in front of both Curry and Trey. He made them take tough shots and even got a few blocks. Dern being able to keep up with some of the fastest guards in the league in his first matchup against them is impressive. Stu was able to put the clamps on Trey last year, so we have two Trey Young stoppers on the squad. This is great news because we faced the Hawks three times before Christmas. Biggest takeaway from this is that most of the squad was at the scrimmage. Even though there's no footage of them, Livers and Key were also there. Everyone on the Pistons can say the welcome to Detroit hook with their chest. Every place, everywhere we go, man, we team, everywhere the Pistons we training camp in preseason is going to have some battles. A roster spot needs to be cleared, plus the rotation has to be sorted out. No matter who's in the 10-man lineup, I just hope it leads to success. It would be devastating for a young team to put in this much work for an entire summer and still get destroyed during the season. So winning is the only option this year. And that wraps up this video. The offseason has been a success thus far. We've seen signs of improvement across the board. Next month, we will see the results of all that hard work. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to see more Pistons content. That's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.